What's up guys, the Suicide Fox coming at you with another video, and yes, it is Duct Tapes Are Forever, another speed run on the Escapist. Now this run was very difficult guys, it was very difficult, took a lot of planning, took a lot of practice, took a lot of work to get it out for you guys, but it's here, it's done, and you're going to see it, it's pretty amazing, I hope you enjoy it, I had fun making it. The first thing that's going to happen is that we're going to wake up in our cell, obviously, day one. That's how we roll. But we're going to need to craft a flimsy shovel, and we're going to need two forks on top of the necessary items that you need to escape. So right here I'm collecting a few items and some bed sheets. The items are going to be used to recruit a few people onto my team, and the lighter and the cigarette packs, or the uh, rather pack of cards, are going to be used for that and then the sheets are going to be used to tie up some guards that we're going to need to tie up and take their stuff so right here i'm just going around i am talking to as many people as i can just to get them on my team usually when you spawn on this map at least three of them will be ready to go right out of the bat so as long as three of them are ready to go and then you recruit a fourth guy you can pretty much do what i call mobbing where exactly this send them after a guy and four of them take him down because the guards in this level are really really tough guys like really tough and there's a lot of them and they're really hard to get away from sometimes so we wanted to find the guy with the green key we kind of got lucky here and we found the guy with the green key right away i'm going to take him up here because the guards don't come up here i'm going to tie him up and take the green key now i need the green key in order to get into the metal shop and the wood shop because there are two of these special desks in here you'll see in a moment that have items in them that you need to escape. So right here, I'm just heading down to the metal shop when I see this guy Keeper, and there's another item that I need from the guards called the memoir tape, and I need that to craft an item to escape. So I sent them after him, hoping he'd have one. He does not, he had the red key. So I decided to come down here and get into this desk. Now these are the desks that you have to get into that have all the little special items that you need to escape. So right there, I need the blue putty. I was going to take a plate because normally the strategy would be for me to take a plate from there and then a wood from the other to make the shovel, but I didn't there because I knew that I could probably find a plate later on. I was pretty much taking a big gamble, but plates seem to be pretty common around here. So here I'm going to take both of the duct tapes, which we're going to need, and I'm going to take the sticky tape, which is one of the special items in the desk. It's the, the special item in the desk. And then we also need the talcum powder because that's part of the crafting items that we need to make later on. Now right here, as I'm coming up, uh, we have to give the key back to this guard, because if we don't, when he comes out of being tied up, then the alarm's gonna go off and we're gonna lose everything. We do need his outfit though. Now right here, I made a bit of a mistake. I, I did that by mistake, not realizing his name, but luckily they beat him up real quick. That was the same guy we beat up earlier. So right here, I am waiting for another guard to come by so that way I can mob him and hopefully get some memoir tapes. I see this guy, Asicius, I don't know how to say his name. He gets beat up, my guys get beat up, but that's okay. He ends up having the memoir tapes, so I'm gonna carry him up here a little bit, and I was just checking Mickey's pockets to see what he had, if he had anything valuable. I'm gonna put him right here, because it's kind of safer, because there's no guards really coming by. And I have to drop something from my inventory, so I dropped the talcum powder because it is a non-contraband item. So I can just leave it on the floor like that and the guards will not take it. Now you need the guard outfit to get into these rooms here, but once you get into this room, the guards do not actually come into this room. So I'm going to use this room as my storage room and store everything in there. I am going to check this desk and I'm going to find two files, which I am going to need for the escape and uh, the metal plate, which I was saying before. Pretty common drop, uh, but I could have I could have really screwed myself there. So I'm coming in here to get the key card out of this desk, and then I'm going to derp a little bit, and I'm going to try and mix the key card with the uh, memoir tapes because I thought that the key card for some reason was the voice recorder. It looked the icon looks like the voice recorder. I wasn't reading the text, and I was also incredibly uh, nervous at this point because it is. This, this level is, is nerve-wracking, guys. It's very nerve-wracking. There's guards everywhere. They beat you up. They take your stuff. And it's really easy to screw this up. So right here, I'm going to take the tray. Because I want to use the tray maybe to if I knock out a guard if I have to. I'm going to store that there because it's a safe spot. 
This guard was making me nervous. He walked all the way up there. But I take it as an opportunity to get a second outfit. Because having a second outfit is always good because that means that I can take a bit more risk. Because I need at least one outfit in order to get in here. And I do need the timber too, which is why I'm coming up here to drop it. You need at least one guard outfit. Having two is just making it safer. I'm going to collect the talcum powder again. I'm going to come back up here. I'm going to make sure that this guard does not see this item. And I am just... Right now I think I'm checking. Yeah, I'm checking to see what, what items I'm still missing. I think I still need a couple forks and uh, a laser watch. Because we're spies, right? we got to use laser watches to, to get through stuff. I mean, you guys, you guys played GoldenEye, right? I played GoldenEye as a kid. I beat it on Double O Agent. I got all the cheats except for the one on, except for the one on Statue. I never got Statue because I. It was the whole like dialogue part. There was a trick to do in the dialogue that you can make it go faster, and I could never do it. And I would always be like a second or two off. Anyway, so I went through the gate with the outfit on just because then it wouldn't trigger the alarm. Because if you're wearing something or you have something equipped as a weapon, it doesn't actually trigger the contraband alarm. Now right here, I'm using the outfit so I don't get as much heat from the cameras, and I'm putting the desk here so that way when I search them, the camera won't see me. Because even when you're in the outfit, if you search the desks here, they will see you. I do get caught, I do get knocked out, I do lose my outfit, but that's okay because we got one of the forks. We're going to wake up here in the, in the infirmary. We're going to come back up and we're going to check some of these desks now. We still need a fork. And we still need some cutting items. I'm going to check this desk first because there's no camera in here. So this is one of the safer rooms to be in. And that's also a good room to stash things in the toilet in order to avoid detection there. So right here, we're going to find that laser watch that we've been needing. So we're going to need that to cut through one of the vents. I'm going to store it here for now just so that way I can search the rest of the desks without any trouble. Now you see up there, like as soon as I walk into the room, the camera goes off. But when I put the desk there and then check it, it don't go off. Right here, I knew that guard was going to hit me, so I'm just dumping off the suit because I don't need it. I am going to come back and get that duct tape because we do need three duct tapes to escape. We need one to make the shovel and then two for the camera, which you guys will see in a little bit. So I'm going to come back up here and we're going to get that item out of the desk. We're going to wait for the guard to go by. I don't know what he was doing here. He just, I wanted to screw with me, I guess. There is a way that you can have the camera see you by doing this. You have to be very careful how, how far you go in. So you want to be like right on the edge there and not go in. Right here, I'm going to come down. We're going to, we're going to go back up into, the, up into the room so we can organize a few things. We have to be real careful not to lose our suit because even if they find us, uh, we might be screwed. Now, I don't remember checking this desk earlier. I guess maybe I did. Uh, but I remember that there was something in one of these desks. It was the shoe. And I believe it was in this one, yes. Yes, that's right. It was in this one. So we needed the shoe so that way we can get those items through the metal detector on the other side. Uh, right here, I was a little nervous that that guard was going to do something. So I just put my other outfit on. Could have. I got a lot of heat for that, so... That would have been really risky to lose that. Good thing we didn't. Now at this point, I'm just making my way back over to the library because we need to build 40 intelligence in order to build the shovel. Unfortunately, the guard beat the crap out of me right away, but that's okay because we only have to build 10 intelligence and it's pretty quick. Right here, I was, I believe, deciding whether or not I should go and get the items and put them up top or go straight to the library. I decided to go straight to the library because it just seemed like a safer option. Uh, I might screw up coming through the other way or something. You, you might notice that that guard there was just standing there, not moving. I think he might have been bugged because it, you'll see in a little bit something happens weird with him. If you go all the way into the corner here, you notice how the camera don't see me. If you're in here and you're reading, the camera would normally see you and it would be red and then the guard will come and beat you up. So you gotta come over and stand in this corner here. So you don't get beat up. And we're still going to bu uh, build up to 40 intelligence, I believe, was what I said. Yes, 40. 40. 40. We need 40 intelligence in order to make a flimsy shovel. This is the more boring part of the gun. 
because I'm just standing here. Eating. There's a television there. I tried to sit in that. I don't think you could sit in that and watch TV. There was one that you could sit and like, do something like that. But it wasn't that one. So right here, you'll notice I'm out of stamina. But I do have my intelligence. So I came out, got beat up by the guards. So that way my stamina would refresh. You notice that I only carry items with me and get purposely beat up if they're not contraband. If they're contraband, then I don't, I don't deal with it. So I'm going to come up here. I'm going to accidentally put the fork in the toilet, uh, but then I'm going to take the duct tape and the laser watch, and we're going to go through the gate here. Now, the fake shoe acts like a contraband pouch in that it can help you get through the detectors. You see that it's at 80%. That means because I uh, used it the one time. I'm going to drop it there just because I don't really need it. Right here, I almost screwed up real bad. Fortunately, I know a little trick. If you hide in these little lockers here, eventually the guards will go away. My heat won't really drop, so I'm going to have to go around and drop, have them drop my heat. So right now I'm just waiting for that to go away, so that way I can come in here and drop the contraband items. I'm being incredibly careful because I don't want to, I don't want to pick something up and use it, or I don't want to like draw attention to myself. But I am going to use these files to cut through this first gate here. We're going to use this first file completely on this gate. And then the second file we're going to use partially, but then we're going to use the rest of it with the timber to make a handle that is going to be part of our shovel. So we're going to sit here and we're going to craft the shovel. That was, at, that was a bug, I think, that the file came up at negative 32%. I don't even know. So we're going to craft the shovel. You guys should know how to craft the shovel. I'm going to come up here and I'm going to just drop the shovel and I'm going to use the laser watch on the gate there because that's just that's just dope that's what spies do right is they use laser watches like i said before so right here i'm just checking to make sure i have all the items i still need a fork though i don't know if you guys noticed that i still need a fork so i come up here and i drop that i take the shoe just in case i need it and fortunately for me podger morn was knocked out and he had a fork on him so we got our we got our item now right here i'm just doing this so I can get sent to the infirmary to refresh my stamina. Fortunately, that guard did not, he didn't even care. He didn't even care. I guess I didn't hit him hard enough. Now, there is a there is a very big risk to doing this because if you do it at the wrong time near the end of evening roll call, you'll just wake up in your cell, which is a problem. We don't want to do that, right? So fortunately for me, we do wake up in the infirmary because it's before the end of evening roll call. Now I just got to make it all the way, all the way back into that room. I'm going to ditch the shoe because we're not going to need the shoe anymore. We only need the shoe for that one little bit. We got our fork. I'm going to come up here. I'm going to grab the suit. And I'm going to come back down into the room. Now this is the part where my heart was pumping. I was real nervous, guys. You need the fork and you need both tuck tapes here. We're going to jump up. I actually do forget the shovel there. Fortunately, there's a desk here where my escape plan and I'm just like oh wait my shovel yeah right I should probably have brought that too luckily I was just getting really lucky in this in this run I guess so we're gonna come over here and you gotta put the duct tape on that and use the shovel on this wall now the duct tape will last long enough for you to chip through the wall completely and go up and search the desk however halfway through searching the desk the duct tape will wear off that's why we need the second duct tape so we're gonna use the shovel completely on this first one and then we're going to use one fork completely. And then the other fork we're going to use only once. Right here I got really nervous that this guard was going to see me. Because if he sees you after lights out, then you get caught immediately. So right here I get it down to 10%. I put another duct tape on just to refresh it. And I chip through. Fortunately that guard didn't come up either. We're going to come in here and we need the dirty glass out of this. So we're going to take the dirty glass. We're going to leave the fork. I'm going to come over here and put the wall back. Now we also need this desk. Now I'm doing this because I want to be really super safe because I'm, I messed up several runs. I got to this point and messed up several runs because it's just bad luck. So we need the recorder out of that. I was contemplating taking the chocolate to refresh my stamina, but we didn't really need it. So we're going to come back to the storage room and we are going to craft all the items that we need to escape. We are going to first take the voice recorder and the memoir tapes and craft them together. And hey, there we go. And now we got a key card. And we're going to take the dirty glass, the tape, and the talcum powder and make a fingerprint. And then mix it with the putty to make a strong fingerprint. Now right here, guys, is, is the heart-wrenching part. This is the part that 
just if you get caught if they see you you're out now i got real close one time real close one time like this close and then i got caught so that's how many times i had to attempt the run that's how many times i had to do it but we're gonna put all the stuff on we're james bond we are double o agent we're gonna escape with the slowest elevator possible i don't know how anyone could let this guy escape with an elevator like that like come on like i mean really and we're gonna ride the missile to freedom guys and not only we're we gonna ride the missile to freedom we're gonna ride the missile to number one on the leaderboard that's right this was a number one on the leaderboard run probably could have done a little bit better had i had i been not as needy to get beat up by the guards then my bad behavior could have been a little bit less but as you can see my efficiency is just through the roof through the roof my efficiency so i had a lot of fun making this i hope you guys really enjoyed it hope you guys you know who who have been subscribing to me i hope i hope this is uh, enough for you guys until escape is two i may attempt to get another run out there for another map but i don't want to make promises because these things are hard guys these are this isn't just like me uh, oh i'm just gonna go play the escapist this is like this takes time practice planning i have to sit there and like test stuff it is not easy this run is not easy and i know you some of you guys are gonna say oh well it's two days screw you it was 24 hours i did it in one day i did it before because you wake up at eight o'clock so what are you gonna do you can't you can't do stuff before eight o'clock so that means i lost out on eight hours of doing stuff so you gotta you gotta have some leeway in that like a day is a day is a day 24 hours guys come on so thanks for watching guys be sure to drop it a like be sure to subscribe be sure to check out my other content dead by daylight and gears of war like i said in my other video escapist 2 content will be coming to my channel when the game comes out just gotta wait for it thanks again guys love you all and i will see you in the next one peace out